Hey guys, uh, welcome to this episode. Uh, today we're going to be playing one of my favorite games, one of my favorite new games anyway. I've always been a huge fan of the Fallout franchise. Um, I'm not promoting them or anything, but uh, Fallout 4, uh, I picked it up, oh, I don't know, um, the day it came out. And I've got <clears throat> about 240 hours in it so far. Um, I'm going to start a new game, and uh, I'm just going to kind of show you guys some of the stuff from the game. Um, I'm not going to do a whole playthrough of the, th of the game because it's really, really long, very involved. There's a lot of different things you can do, Quite, uh, side quests, um, build, building towns. Well, you'll see when we get in there, but uh, I just wanted to let you know what was going on for the episode. Um, really cool game. Um, I hope you enjoy it. All right, I'll see you in there. Okay, hey guys, um, here we are in Fallout 4, um, this is the character selection screen, and it doesn't really matter, um, what you choose, um, your sex, male or female, um, it's all pretty much aesthetics, there's, um, sorry I was leaning, I wasn't in the camera, um, there's a couple of different differences between the perks, um, you got, uh, Black Widow versus Lady Killer, um, a couple of other things, uh, Aqua Boy versus Aqua Girl, um, Action Boy versus Action Girl, uh, it's just, it's pretty much just in the name, so, um, it doesn't matter, uh, your body type or any of that, so, I'm just gonna accept this and, um, move along with the rest of the game, so, um, yeah, uh, Come out here, you can pretty much interact with everything. Um, that's Codsworth. He's your butler robot. Um, so, he's going to keep yakking. Um, I've got the volume turned all the way off on this um, just because uh, I tried recording it before and with all of the dialogue from the game, um, you couldn't hear the commentary at all. Um, I'm going to try to not do any spoilers so I will cut it at one at some point and then uh, come back that way that way um you guys are not hearing all of the uh, all the spoilers for the game so um, the robot's gonna go take care of my baby because I'm apparently ba a bad parent so uh, I can't change my own baby's diapers so, basically right now, we're waiting on someone to come to the door, um, and when he gets there, um, we'll be able to move on with the game. So, uh, my robot's back there with the baby, and, eh, yeah, he's taking care of Sean. So, we're waiting on that. The guy at the door. Um, good old sugar bombs. Nothing better than sugar bombs. Up oh, there he is. Okay, so I can go outside, and this is where I will be able to choose a name and set my my starting special. Um, it doesn't really matter what you say when you're talking to this guy. Um, basically, the conversation ends the same with you choosing your name and your uh, special skills. So, um, I'm just going to kind of go through these. Um, you can choose sarcastic answers, and you can basically tell them to go away. Um, but then your husband says something to you, or your wife, depending on what sex you chose, and you end up doing the, uh, you end up signing up for the vault Tech program anyway. So, it doesn't really matter, um, your dialogue choices. So, here we are. Um, a name. Um, I'm going to go with Jane. Jane Doe. Yeah. Okay, so uh, typically you get 21 points plus the 7 that because uh, you start with 1 in each thing. So, a total of 28. 
Um, and then, uh, usually I like to go with, um, it doesn't really matter what you put them in because you get, um, when you level, you can put a point in each of your, your in one of your special skills or in one of your perks. So it doesn't really matter. Eventually you can max everything out. Um, I like to go ahead and give myself a high intelligence. I never put 10 in anything because there's a bobblehead for each of the uh, specials, so you'll get a point there. Um, six in strength, um, and that way I can get strong back. Um, five in endurance, so I can get um, Aqua Girl. Um, and then the rest, um, I put in charisma just because, um, just because the higher your charisma, oh, I accidentally reset it. I'll just go ahead and set those all back where I had them. Um, the higher your charisma, the better deals you get at shops and the, um, the easier it is to win speech challenges. So. You want to try to get a high charisma uh, as quick as you can, as well as a couple of other things like um, your intelligence and your strength. Strength you can carry more the higher your strength. Um, intelligence um, has a lot of benefits too, which I'll go over a little bit later uh, whenever I level. I'll explain that a little bit better. Um, okay, so now I'm going to check on the baby if this robot ever gets out of my way. Come on, Cosworth. You see me trying to get through. Thank you. Okay, so uh, gonna check on Sean, and my husband will come in. Uh, let's see, he wants me to play with the mobile, so I'll do that. Um, and then he's gonna come in, uh, and we'll chit chat for a minute. Um, there is a cheat that you can do where. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen the dog in the trailer by now. Um, you, you get him as a companion, and I'll show you that too. Um, there's a cheat that you can do where um, that special book, you can pick it up later, and it gives you plus one in any of your special skills. And basically, um, oh, news report that the bombs are, have dropped. Anyway, basically, you can throw that book on the ground, and you can have your dog pick it up and pick it up at the exact same time, and it duplicates it. And you can do that with pretty much anything in the game, uh, the little duplication glitch. But um, you'll duplicate it, and then you can put, you can use that book over and over again and max out your special skills uh, pretty quick, but... I don't do that. It's cheaty, and I don't like cheating. Okay, now I'm running for the bolt. Um, you don't have to go to the bolt. You can um, run away, um, and I've done that before. Um, basically, though, um, the bombs go off, and you die, and you restart back at the house when the door opens, um, prompting you to run to the vault. So it's no real point in uh, doing that, but... Okay, so up here is where it wants us to go. Um, here's the guy that just had a sign up for Volt Tech, and they are not letting him in, which is kind of messed up. <laughs> he works for him, and they're like, nope, sorry, pal. You're not on the list. So, all right. Uh, they're checking me off of the list, and my husband and my kid, so I'm going to run for the Vault. And um, once I get on the vault pad, I'm going to go ahead and cut it, because um, I don't want to give you guys any spoilers um, as to what's going on in the vault. So, alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, and I will see you in a bit. Okay guys, we're coming out of the vault now, and um, uh, it's really bright, and I'm going to kind of... Uh, walk through and show you a few things in the uh, world that you're able to do. Um, we're just going to do a little bit of exploring and gather some items. So um, there's these crates and just like any other Fallout game, um, there's random junk laying on the ground that you can pick up. There was a first aid kit back there too. Um, Rad X in this game, unlike the other Fallout games, 
is fairly hard to come by at the beginning um, and it also is fairly expensive around 100 caps from the vendor um, it, it's charisma based on how much you actually pay um, along with a few perks and other things but um, when you first start out it's it's not that easy to come by and um, so you you want to try to collect it if you find it basically and caps are really hard to come by you will always be broke in this game but okay we're back in the town that we started out in and um, right here is a workbench um, there are other places that have these little settlements and basically these allow you to scrap items like that um, in the given settlement and um, scrapping an item puts it in the workbench in the workshop and you can use that to um, improve the settlement um, build houses beds whatever um, you can scrap like this building right here um, right here you can scrap this whole building now some of the, most of the buildings you can't scrap that one you can because it's completely dilapidated and I think sanctuary is the only place that you can uh, do that with entire buildings but like this one you can't so alright um, just gonna scrap a few more things here um, so here's another one of those houses that you can scrap the whole thing right there okay so um, scrap this real quick alright um, just give you a quick little example of some of the things you can build um, and how the system works so I'm gonna use um, right here okay this is like a foundation block um, you don't have to use these but it makes it makes building a little bit easier so because you can raise it lower into the ground and it just makes it a little a little easier to work with especially with hills and stuff so I got that down and then I'm just gonna attach a regular uh, floor plank to it um, probably not gonna have enough supplies to do a whole lot because you know I'm just starting out but um, you see how they just kinda lock together um, makes it a little bit easier when you're uh, trying to build a house uh, throw some stairs there um, grab a wall real quick um, nope, wrong button um, there we go alright um, so you can I only had enough to make one wall. That, that's okay. I'm just showing you guys anyway uh, different things that you can do. So uh, just grab one of these floor planks real quick. There we go. Um, so if I come up the steps that I just built, um, I can. There we go. I can attach it up here, and I can make multi-level uh, structures, and um, then. If you know I had more walls, I could put walls on there. If I had if I had enough supplies, I'd put a roof on it too, and everything else. Um, you can build doors, beds, um, all kinds of nifty things, um, bridges. Um, so yeah, um, there's there's so much you can scrap. Most of the trees you can scrap. Occasionally, occasionally you'll find like a really big tree that you're not able to scrap. Um, there's actually one in Sanctuary, but I'm not going to bother going back to it. If you're playing, you'll find it, I'm sure. Um, so, I can't stop scrapping. I just want to scrap everything. It's so annoying having all this junk laying around here. Anyway, um, so, yep, you can build stores eventually. And um, once you take um, rank one of local leader, you can uh, attach your different settlements together through supply lines. And I'll actually show you. Um, well, I won't be able to actually do it, but I'll I'll kind of explain a little bit more here in a in a little bit. Um, but your second level of local leader will allow you to um, assign. Um, Assign your uh, settlers. Actually, that might be the first level. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Uh, it's just a rat roach. Die. 
Okay. Um, it's either rank one or rank two. I can't remember, but it allows you to assign your settlers to the shops that you build, and you can, um, you know, it's rank two because I, I'm pretty sure you have to have rank two to make the shops. So, anyway, um, you'll have your own stores in your settlements, and you can use those to sell your items because vendors run out of caps pretty quick. And, uh, like, you can wait 48 hours, but, you know, who wants to go through that? Um, so, uh, loot everything. Okay, this is the Red Rocket um, truck stop or whatever, gas station, and we're going to meet dog meat right here. So, I'm going to greet the dog, and let's go, boy. All right, yeah, um... You can get all different, all kinds of different companions, just like the other Fallout games, and you can, uh, each companion has likes and dislikes, and based on what they are, if you do those, if you do the things that they like, um, eventually you will max out your affinity with them, and you will get a special perk with them, but dog meat does not have a perk, and, um, there aren't... There aren't really uh, any things that you can do to get him to not like you. So um, he's a pretty cool companion, um, and just like any other companion, oh, here's a weapon bench. Um, I wanted to show you this real quick. You can upgrade your weapons. Um, you can modify them. Um, like if I would, this, if I had enough supplies, I could um, enhance this, and then like. Uh, different perks like you saw that one back there was gun nut um, that you need to improve that um, there's also armor workstations that you can use for the same thing with armor um, that right there the yellow thing that's a power armor um, mod station uh, this is a cooking station where you can make uh, different foods um, there's a chem station where you can make different chems so there's a lot of different things in here. It's I thought there was an armor station, but I guess not. Cap stash. Um, like I said, you can pick up everything too, pretty much uh, all the junk, and it's all supplies for um, improving your settlements and for modding weapons. So weapons, armor, and everything else. So um, I know there's mole rats around here somewhere. I'm surprised they're not attacking me. They're probably attacking dog meat out there somewhere. But your companions can't die in this game, which is nice. Yeah, it looks like he already killed one out here. So, I've got the volume all the way down on the game, so I can't hear him. Yeah, I'm in danger mode, so they're around. Dog meat's over here hurt, so. Um, I missed him. Alright, where are they at? I know they're around here. There they are. Alright. Got those guys. Um, okay, so, like I was saying before about the supply lines, um, if I go back to the work the workstation in here, and I put my junk that I just got in this workstation, or this workshop, um, if I set up a supply line, um, from Sanctuary. Oh, I forgot I'm not playing Minecraft. <laughs> if I set up uh, a yeah, supply line from Sanctuary over to here, um, I will be able to um, access the junk that I put in that workstation over there from Sanctuary and vice versa. So that makes it a little more convenient. You don't got to run back and forth with your different supplies. So um, I've actually played through, I've got, I think, three, I think this is the fourth different character that I've got on here, um, so I know pretty much where a lot of the stuff is, um, but, um, like these guys down here, these bugs, they can be hard to hit, uh, got him, and got him, okay, um, yeah, they'll juke your bullets, um, they're no joke, the enemies in this game, the AI for them, uh, they did really well on it, um, Except, I did find a bug, um, later in the game, there's a cutscene that happens 
where a certain faction shows up. And when that happens, um, at least in my one game, it made it to where my companions would not follow me. They wouldn't do anything. Um, if I told them to follow me, they'd just take off into the woods in the middle of nowhere. Let me show you the level up thing real quick. Um, so you pull up your Pip-Boy and you, uh, on the PC, hit T to level up. And that will bring up the perk screen right here. Um, you see up at the top here um, the different uh, special skills. You can put points in each of those when you level, or you can put it in your different perks. And um, see, these ones are kind of transparent. They're not unlocked yet because my special skill isn't high enough to unlock them. So, like, I've got, um, say, I've got six in strength. So, if I go down to six on the strength chart, that is uh, strong back, but I can't get to seven, which is under that. Um, five in uh, endurance, so I've got Aqua Girl. Um, five in charisma, so I've got Animal Friend. So I need one more than that to get local leader. Um, and intelligence. Okay, intelligence, what I was saying earlier about that. Um, you want a high intelligence because intelligence gives you... Um, the higher your intelligence, you get more experience points when you get things that give you experience, like level, um, killing enemies, turning in quests, discovering locations, anything like that. So you want a high intelligence for that reason. Um, also, you unlock Nuclear Physicist, which um, you can see rank 1. You get uh, additional 50% damage from uh, radiation weapons and your fusion cores last 25% longer. Um, you've got power armor, which you want power armor in this game. Um, everything you do in power armor drains your fusion cores. So, um, you want anything that's going to help you with your fusion cores. Now, if I hit the Alt button on the PC, um, that will show me the next rank. Um, so you can see this one double damage with your radiation weapons and your fusion cores last 50% longer. And the last rank, um, your power armor does this like AOE effect attack um, by ejecting the power, the fusion core, and it does double, or your fusion cores last double, um, twice as long is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, um, real good reasons to have a high intelligence. Now I need to put points in perception to get locksmith so I can open things. Um, I do have hacker unlocked um, right here because uh, I got a high intelligence but um, locksmith yeah definitely want to get to that um, and you can zoom in and out um, and if you uh, mouse up or mouse down it will um, move your perk chart up and down and you can also right click and drag right click and drag there we go um, to move it around um, which I didn't know any of that when I first started but anyway um, I think I'm going to put my uh, use my first level to get charisma and that way I can get local leader so that'll help me out <coughs> later when I start doing settlements um, so alright um, well, that's pretty much all I really wanted to show you. A uh, quick review of uh, Fallout 4. Um, if you guys enjoyed watching this and you want to see more Fallout 4 from me, um, let me know in the... Uh, d not the description, that's me. Um, let me know in the comments down below. And um, if you guys are interested in it and you want to see more, um, I love playing this game, so I will definitely... Uh, I'd definitely be willing to play more Fallout 4 for you guys. So... Um, yeah, just let me know, and um, until next time, you guys take care. Bye.